What's up guys? As you can see, it's a beautiful summer evening or pre-summer evening here in Czech Republic. And so I decided I would go for a ride outside today. Tomorrow it's supposed to start raining again. So on the weekend, it will be mainly Zwift for me. I will be doing another race for another video. But today I decided I would take you with me on this incredible ride and tell you a little bit about what I have planned for my riding and this channel in the future. So the thing that you are probably all most interested in is Zwift because this is a primarily Zwift channel. And as you all know, there aren't that many exciting events on Zwift during summer months. It's an off season, but that does mean we won't be doing Zwift riding. Uh, I have noticed there is going to be uh, like a tour the something ride from Sisu Racing, I believe. And from the schedule, it looks very promising. There's an other Zwift race and there are like seven more, all separated by like two days gap. So that is interesting and I will be doing that. But my most important goal for the summer and early autumn is Everesting. I have decided that I want to finally conquer this ultimate cycling challenge, but I'm going to need to train for it. So I will be doing a lot of climbing in the summer months, both inside and outside. I'm quite lucky that the environment where I live is pretty hilly. It's not like a mountainous region, but there are nice hills around. And obviously most of my training on the hills will be done on Zwift. And as I see it now, I would like to attempt it maybe in early autumn, sometimes just before the main Zwift season starts. That would be the perfect schedule for me. And my idea is I would like to do it on stream. So I would stream the whole attempt from the very first second throughout all the rests and all the climbing. I believe that could be pretty interesting. And it might be nice to do it as a charity event, but I'm not sure about that just yet. But that's a little thought that I would be doing. As for the Everesting attempt, I am very interested if you have any tips, what should I mainly train for that event? I assume it's mostly endurance and climbing, obviously, but if you have any uh, training plans or ideas, let me know. I know uh, Nostardamus, which is a follower of this channel, done that event but he did it in 12 hours, which is way beyond my abilities. So that's probably not going to be the league I will be playing in. But if you have any tips, let me know. And even for nutrition and stuff like that, I'm not experienced with such endurance event at all. The longest thing I've done was right around the border of Prague. Which leads me to another thing that I'm going to be doing during the summer. That is going to be outside rides. And I don't want to make such videos boring. I know all of you guys are busy and have no time nor desire to watch long empty videos so every time i do a ride it will have some theme and i will try to incorporate some sort of challenge into it 
So uh, right now I need to uh, turn. That was a weird intersection. So I have so far three videos in mind. The first is right to a mountain where basically Czechia was born, allegedly, legend says that. And up to the mountain, there's a horrible climb. So that should work as a challenge pretty well. Another video would be riding again, again around the border of Prague, which is around 160 kilometers, which is 100 miles. And there are basically four stone pillars at each side of Prague, northern, eastern, southern, and western. And my goal would be to visit each of those. I've already done this challenge twice and it's very challenging, but it's a lot of fun. So it would be my second video. And my third video would be visiting all important Prague tourist spots on bike. So if you ever visited Prague, you could do it on the bike. You would know that it is possible. And I would tell you what should you do and what should you probably visit in conventional way because not all places are super cycling friendly. As you can see, I'm living at the very edge of Prague. So when I go cycling, it's basically just uh, countryside riding. But obviously in such video, I would go to a city center and it's possible. I've been riding in a city center. I've been commuting to work, uh, especially when I was in my previous work. Uh, I needed to go to another side of Prague. So commuting by bike was anecdotally faster than using public transport or car. Car, it's nonsense to use car in Prague, but that's probably not something I need to convince cycling fanatics about. So it will be my third video. And as I'm saying that, I figured probably the fourth, and that will be how friendly is Prague to cyclists? So I could do probably challenge that I would pick up a spot on the other side of Prague, and I would probably do a comparison between the most scenic way and the fastest way. So those are my ideas for outside riding so far. I've purchased some accessories for my camera, my Insta360 X4, so I could do all these views like from in front of me and from the back and all that. So speaking of accessories, this is my another view from the back. It's going to be good mainly for descending. Uh, but maybe for climbing as well. I think that could be very interesting. Right now I'm mainly testing the sound settings and I need to turn here somewhere, but I'm not sure where. And there's one more thing that I need to address because I've been asked about it quite a few times already. And that's if I'm going to get a power meter 
for my outdoor rides. And I've been thinking about it and my initial answer would be yes. But recently I have noticed a small crack developing on my frame and it's nothing too serious. I don't think it's dangerous in any way. But I will need to monitor that. And it is possible that eventually I will need to buy a new bike. In that case, I would keep my gravel bike on Zwift trainer full time and I would buy my first road bike ever and in that case wow there was snake <laughs> and in that case I wouldn't see too much uh, effectiveness in buying power meter now because if I would be buying bike, I would buy one with integrated power meter. I wish you could smell right now what I'm smelling. I'm riding along the river and there is this rivery, almost like summer camp kind of smell. Evening, you know, evening river, that sort of thing. It's incredible. I love riding along the river, especially during summer. It's technically not summer yet, but it's like 24 degrees or whatever Celsius, which is pretty summery if you ask me. So the last thing I would like to talk about is my training. I've been consistently getting back to my previous level of training my training duration. Actually last week was perfect in that regard. I hit all my training targets and I just finished the Zwift spring training program, which I actually found uh, way more difficult than I thought. And it is possible that my FTP that I have set on Zwift is overestimated because considering I had uh, a little break in my riding when I was sick. It's possible my FTP went down a little bit. So it might have been difficult for that reason. So I will base my training plan around the Everest in training. So there is going to be a lot of Z2 riding, a lot of endurance, some sweet spots and I will probably not do a training plan on Zwift. I will design my own around my schedule and stuff. But it will be mainly endurance and riding around threshold because ultimately I think that's what's Everesting going to be about. Riding in that low effort for a long time. So that's it for me for today, guys. I'm going to finish my ride. I am almost at the end. If there is anything you would like to see on this channel, let me know in the comments. Actually, the idea with the uh, showing tourist spots in Prague was from one of my viewers. I think it's a great idea. Thank you for that. And if you like my content and would like to help my channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow and spread it to another potential viewers. Thank you to all existing subscribers and welcome to the new. And I'll see you on the weekend during a Zwift race. See you guys. Ciao.